This movie time is brought to you by the Gateway Film Center, 1550 North High Street, Columbus, Ohio. Further details and showtimes online at gatewayfilmcenter.org. The award-winning It's Movie Time is produced by John DeSando. Listen to the shows and read reviews online at wcbe.org. I'm John DeSando. I'm Hope Madden. This is It's Movie Time. And let's get real here. There's been three movies about this whacked-out doll. <laughs> The Conjurings and Annabelle. Right. How does this fit in? Annabelle Creation is the name of the film today. Sure, it's an origin story. Uh, gives you an idea of how the doll became uh, possessed. It, she was already ugly as sin. Boy, is this the worst looking doll <laughs> I've ever seen. It's ugly. And Who would want dolls to play are creepy with this I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she's in a white dress and she's just. Hope she doesn't do anything. No. You know that? I mean, the, the doll doesn't the, worry. Every, sometimes her head will move, sometimes her eyes will move. Oh, but it's a funny, it? it's, a, it's a choice that you have to make when you have like a possessed small creature, like a child's play, like the child's play movies with Chucky. Oh, either Chucky, right. yeah. either the, the little inanimate object has to move, you know, or it doesn't, and you use camera tricks to make it seem creepy. And so you got to make one choice or the other. And there are pros and cons to both, because uh, once they start moving, then it's usually comedic. It just seems yes. funny to see these little feet. So Good I, point. I think they chose wisely, but it's a, 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 and again, though, you're like, well, it's there and it's just sitting in that chair again. Well, oh, the chair's rocking. Isn't it spirit uh, going into kids, like in this movie? Is it, isn't the, the doll spirit going into them or something like that? Possess them? So, yes, <laughs> sort of. Um, and it's, I know, it's a bit, it's a bit, so the, the story is the, there's a doll maker, a not very talented one, I would say, and, uh, and his, his, his daughter dies, tragically, and uh, through some sort of uh, spiritual hijinks of some sort, this, their doll, this doll, winds up being possessed. And then years later, because they make terrible decisions, they invite an orphanage of little girls to come live in their sprawling farmhouse with them. And their possessed doll. Well, they're overseen by a very comely nun. <laughs> and I want to tell you from my days with the nuns in grammar school, this is a real joy. <laughs> because now and then we got a young nun, and we were scoping her out all the time. Because wow. we, of course, we knew nothing about women. And this looked like a real woman, as, a, <laughs> as opposed to. Anyway, yes. I'll give you that. Sister Cleopa never looked like the nun at this <laughs> orphanage. I'll give you that. <laughs> and your question was, why? Why are you here? <laughs> you are, you know, and in, in those terms, we wouldn't have had it then. And she was hot. Oh, I wish she'd be. But anyway, well, I would like to say that this doll maker, and you are absolutely correct, the ugliest dolls in the world, but this guy has orders all over the place. Yeah, the apparently for these hideous dolls, <laughs> which is crazy. Oh, so, all right. So, these kids are at, at this farmhouse, and things go banging in the night. They right? do. <laughs> they do. So, and it's, you know, it's not, it, it, it's not a smart screenplay. It definitely isn't. <laughs> I think you're right. It's, um, it's, you know, the director did Lights Out, which is also a pretty empty-headed horror movie, but, but he does do jump scares. I mean, that's really all. It's just jump scares. If you like jump scares, you know, and, and you like these creepy dolls, uh, I mean, he steals, uh, he steals outright from a couple of films, in particular Insidious, which is also James Wan. James Wan produces all of oh, the, the films Conjuring. in the series, oh, and he directed of... The Conjuring. Okay. And he also directed Insidious. <clears throat> and uh, and this has got some of that going on there. And, I mean, there are just, I mean, so many of the scenes, you're like, well, uh... All right, uh, Hope, then you bring up my question. I, I this, this thing is a treasure trove of tropes. Yes. From, I mean, you're right. But, like, something like The Well, I thought was a perfect place for more excitement. Agreed. Okay. Agreed. I expected something more to happen. Uh, I did. It's, uh, even cause from the trailer, it, uh, it makes that out to seem like it's a bigger scene than it is. Yes, yes, yes. And then, yeah, it kind of gets dropped after you that. You can't see to the bottom of the well. Right. And they have some action there that indicates we've got greater stuff coming. Yeah. Because there's nothing like a bottomless well. No. To scare the heck out of you. And, and the, the scarecrow. <laughs> Oh, the scarecrow! I dug right? me that scarecrow, man. Scarecrows are creepy, oh, oh, you know. Yes. And that's one of the things I think that this series does get right because nuns are creepy, so they got that covered. <laughs> Dolls are creepy, and now they introduce the scarecrows because scarecrows are creepy, and this one definitely is. And I, I wanted more of him. 
Well, you know... Maybe he'll get his own movie next. Oh, you you and I were talking <laughs> earlier about the Catholic Church here, and you were indicating to me the number of things that they got wrong. All the things. They got all the things wrong. <laughs> Do you think that's purposeful? No. Did you show the ineffectuality of the Catholic Church? ignorance. <laughs> Because it wasn't, it wasn't like a statement. I mean, as we mentioned, the little girl gives confession to a nun. What? That doesn't happen. But Hope, they can't even exorcise this demon, really, right? Well, well it's a demon. You can't exorcise it. <laughs> well, but you have a priest. Well, they, yeah, they... Uh, it, <laughs> but it doesn't, right? I mean, this is, to me, the fascination of these is always, and, and, and you can be sure I'll wear a medal. That's right, you that's can't, right. If you're, if you're not watching our video... You won't see that both Hope and I are guarded against the demon. That's right. <laughs> Wayne got this for me. Wayne grabbed this for me. Thanks, Wayne. <laughs> yes, this is a little Keep amulet with, with the cross on it, and, and, and we're, we're safe. That's right, we are. Because otherwise, I'm definitely not safe. <laughs> church. But anyway, so, and what I love, and what I always, even in my written review, I always seize upon the opportunity to diss the Catholic Church. Because it was <laughs> such a part, part of my youth. And so here, I, I mostly talk about the Church's inability to stop the devil or the demon. And and you pointed up to me something even better that I hadn't noticed is the number of times the film itself got the church wrong. Every single time. <laughs> Every single time. And that always drives me crazy. And, and, and as we mentioned earlier, one of the things I like about both Conjuring films is that they don't get the Catholic part of it wrong. And I just feel like if you're going to make a movie, and it, it, I mean, it's, it's, it's right ground. For, for horror films. Yeah. Uh, but if you're going to do it, have some idea what you're talking about. <laughs> well, my favorite, of course, is The Exorcist. Oh, well, of course. <laughs> you know, it's, my, every, it's my litmus test. Yes. Everything against that, and your point about it being not really a very smart screenplay no. is absolutely correct. It is fun, though. <laughs> you know, it is. And the little girls are fun. But again, they're not as good as the kids in The Conjuring. Uh, in The Conjuring, they did such a good job of putting children, in fact, a bunch of little girls, in peril... Um, that you just really were like, you know, really on the edge of your seat worried about them. And, and they've not been able to recreate that yet. Uh, and I don't think they do it here. But the performances are fine. Anthony LaPaglia is creepy as the yeah, sort of uh, caretaker dad. I know. I, I, I couldn't quite figure that out. I mean, he, he kind of groans through it. <laughs> I, I don't even think he has half a dozen lines. I, I mean, but then Miranda Otto, who plays the mother, so that's the thing, though. They wait until the third act to give you anything that is yeah, truly right. startling imagery, yes, and it's, it's mostly great. involving her. Yes, and it's 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 creepy. Yeah. It is. I mean, she has this, and I, that's not a disclosure, but she has this this kind of uh, Phantom of the Opera. And then what happens to her at the face. very end? Yes, 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 yes. Yikes! Yes, yes, yes. yes. So there, you're right. There is some good stuff, yeah. but hardly played on that, really. No. When you consider no. the possibilities that were there. Well, I'm exhausted as <laughs> you know, all this stuff, and there are some, there are some parts of this film which is called Annabelle Creation, which will scare the bejesus out of you, <laughs> but not enough. No. Because I think we've been, and certainly you've been, exposed to so much. It's good and trash about horror films. Yeah. That you're kind of inured to it until you see something really good. Yeah. Is there anything, have, have you come across anything in the last few years that you could recommend? Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, absolutely. You know, it's funny. There's a film uh, that was released last year that is out on Netflix right now, and it's called The Transfiguration. And it's um, it's a vampire movie of sorts, but it's really sort of an alienated, alienated high school student film. You know, it's a, it's a movie about that brilliantly put together wow. and unsettling and very just really really well done and you can get it on netflix right now great great so it's called the, <laughs> the transfiguration the transfiguration another big old catholic term boy oh boy here, here we go i'm <laughs> i'm stepping outside of this now hope madden the film is annabelle creation what grade would you award it uh i think i'm going to give it a b minus right okay and uh, i am going to award it a c plus and uh, this is not, however, to deter anybody who's a fan. Yeah. Like the catalog, because I think you like can <laughs> compare and contrast them. I think and, so. And, and, and it's kind of fun. It is kind of a fun one. Yeah. It's it, just not one you remember. And um, Sister Alexia, my my regrets, uh, my apologies. <laughs> <for> my <comments laughs> <about the> <laughs>